Oh, but it uh, looks like we're going to get it right down yeah, to it. A, oh, and it is the tune. Like, there we go. That. Just as I suspected. <laughs> In the mind games. Yeah, so interesting matchup. Uh, I was talking to Tiger Boy, who also made Toon Link, and he was telling me that Boomerang is basically obsolete in this matchup because she can winch time it both when he throws it and on the way back, which is extremely dangerous. So I'm actually, yeah, it is. no. Yeah. Maybe it's just him, but so long as you keep your distance, uh, there is, you know, a limiting back which time. If you're too far away, it will slow you down, uh, even if she happens to activate it on a projectile. So if you know. He spaces things well and at a distance. Um, it's still useful. No but, doubt about it. But yeah, that is something you always have to watch out for. You don't want to throw up a big hitbox, get witch timed, and then just, you know, eat a charge up smash or any of her up smashes. Uh, or any of her smashes in general. Because uh, those things are devastating. Absolutely. And huge. So, you know, once you get witch time, she has lots of time to just charge that up when you're slowly floating away. <laughs> Alright, 94% here on this Toon Link, in an offstage situation right here, Neutral are going to put it back on. But trying to find some space, staying in shield, not making any crash, uh, throwing out any punished. Oh, yeah, nice call out. out with the bomb, but uh, not getting the follow up hit, that actually beating the air. Yeah, Blaze this guy's looking really clean so far, um, you know, only just now as he started to get a little bit of combo. Are we going right. to see... All right. And uh, doing high, uh, playing, not engaging, and, and not, you know, putting himself in that situation. Good good job to DI away from there, actually. Get away from that combo. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, I maybe Bayo, I actually don't know the uh, kill percent for uh, bomb forward air. All right, but we're going to make it back to stage. Oh, yeah. That bomb reset the uh, up B so you can get back. Nice bomb up. There. Holy cow. Yeah, full rage sitting here on the two link, but that's going to be stock, yeah. without a doubt. <laughs> Just for good measure. Yeah, <laughs> tack on that extra hit. Oh, it's for security. Oh! Wow, that, was, that was slick. I don't know if... Amazing reaction. <laughs> that was I, really I don't. Good. I think that was a reaction, or, but if it was planned, that was next level. On Calculated. It. Oh, wow. What I a save. Right Alright, up tilts? No. Bail going to hop right out of there. Hey, but doing a good job staying ahead really bring this ahead yeah absolutely this is much different than the game uh, started out you know MJG was down almost 80% to like 15 and that brought it all the way back so kudos trying to get some more damage right here with the down throw combos yeah, good use of tilts uh, not using the high or slower lag a two has absolutely you know right now I mean this is an even game, you know, one wish time that could turn the tide of battle. Also, that back throw with Toon Link is a really reliable kill throw. That shield looking yeah. real small. Alright, trying to find a kill confirm right here. No doubt is there. We're going to see it. There we go. Oh, yeah, you. Comes out trying to catch that boomerang. It's really efficient for that. Alright. You know, I really like what MJG is doing. He's starting to play, uh, you know, the safe game right here. He's throwing bombs, throwing out boomerang, keeping exactly. his distance. And you can see him approaching with shield, not throwing out any moves, waiting for a reaction to try to bait out him and then uh, call him out. Yeah, because so far, Blazing Sky is not going in for the grab. You know, he's kind of running in there and playing shield chicken right now. So, Ooh. Catching that bomb and exploding trouble. Oh, it's just a pivot grab right yeah. there. Not Back punishing goes. that whiff grab. Uh, no, I think grab takes a long time. Back that uh, hook shot. It's been extended and miss. Absolutely. Plus the added pressure of being in top eight. Okay. Oh. There we go. Nice down air. Gonna take him right off the top. Oh yeah. No tech. That's gonna feel nice, you know, getting a KO off the top uh, from down air. You know, uh, his down air. Really, really powerful and great at edge guarding. You know, because it, it hits below the ledge, and if he times it right, you know, he just gets that instant spike right there yeah. on the bayonetta. That's always satisfying. Maybe we'll see that coming up. Uh, but definitely something that you know anyone that plays too watching out. Absolutely, it looks like the counter pick is uh, Dreamland. You know, I totally agree with this because it does have the lower ceiling than a lot of the other neutrals, except for Town City, of course. 
uh, but maybe trying to suffocate Toon Link's uh, spacing games right here and force him to play the uh, up close game. And uh, having platforms is just uh, more movement options to, you know, uh, get around all these projectiles and approach from different angles. And especially the platforms will help the all of Bayonetta just giant ladder combos. Uh, if you can initiate one of those at a platform, you can carry up uh, way sooner than you know, if you have to start a base platform. Absolutely, and Rage, you know, doesn't do anything but help Bayonetta. Especially at this point, 92%, only 56 on MJG right here. Are we here we go. go, see how we can carry this. Oh, that bomb. Very dangerous, putting him in a precarious, a precarious situation at the top. He's lucky that didn't go off when he was uh, higher up. Uh, luckily, breaking away from the combo. Uh, still, it's you don't want to keep eating the damage from your own bombs. Ooh. Yeah, bad DI, unfortunately, oh, yeah. right there. Yeah, I was actually not expecting that to KO, but, you know, sometimes uh, you just can't DI well enough. Uh, bomb to fair, not going to be able to close it off yet, uh, but I think another one of those, especially this close to the ledge, uh, that'll do it. Yeah, right there. Had to get rid of that bomb. Didn't want to get shield broken. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I always get confused because I don't know if the Bayo has your jump, and I'm just like, uh, are, are you dead? Are you, you yeah. coming back, right? <laughs> it's a, it's up in the air until you know, you can see the jump again. <laughs> if only there were a visual aid indicator to let you know whether or not they've already gone. Yeah, oh, I'm yeah. I'm going to take that stock right there. Very reliable. It's going to happen. Uh, just like Ness's, you know, back throws are really oh. potent. Sorry about that. <laughs> It's, you know, the bombs are really useful as a projectile, but, you know, time and time again, we've seen the bomb explosion uh, help MJ break out of these combos, uh, luckily. Definitely a factor that Blazy Sky needs to consider when co starting to combo, because, you know, bomb goes off. He, if he gets out an up air that close to the top blast zone. Oh, you know. trying for that quick, like, counter edge guard spike. Uh, not going to work out, but hey, at least you're back on stage. You've got center stage control. Now he's racking up the damage very quickly, trying to close this gap. There we go. Only 30% differential right here. There we go. Only 20. This is anyone's game once again. You know, a demand by Blazing Sky made irrelevant. Oh, oh. He, tried, he tried to break a shoe right there. I respect the attempt. All right, which is going to push him away? He's going to make it back. Unfortunate, though, he didn't land, so he's not yeah. got a second jump. That's probably it. Yeah, that bomb's not going to go off in time. Uh, good stuff. Blazing Sky getting the edge guard right there. Catching him out of the bomb explosion and getting that back air. Could have granted him a game. Definitely nice catch. A great reaction. Because uh, if not for that, you know, plenty of opportunity to take that game. Uh, but now he's just going to end it right there. And now we've got patient. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, are we going to see a switch? Okay, no. Toon Link. Uh, sticking to tried and true, uh, old faithful Toon Link, as uh, I believe that is his OG main. Like I, I think he has the most time on the Toon Link, but running it right back to town. His uh, know-how of the character definitely showed that. I, I definitely that. Yeah, his. Oh, and I know this is a best of five, so we'll see at least you know one more of these amazing games. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with the pick of town and city. Um, I know for a fact he loves this stage because you can get, like, if you have the lead, you know, camping on those platforms is just so easy because Toon Link is so good and quick on the ground. He can just hop between platforms. And... Oh, no stretcher definitely, today. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, even though they are on a time, uh, it's definitely nice to ever so often have extra opportunities for approaching stage and not always having to pledge. Oh, we're going up. Just gonna air right, nice air situation. dodge out of that. Otherwise, it could have been going off the top. So, and trying to fall back to more ranged uh, strike and fade type of gameplay. A blazing sky, though, not letting him take that kind of you know, dominant defensive position like he did. Yeah, it looks like uh, blazing sky got his number. I mean, just like the first game, you know, taking the early lead. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, that, was a, that was an interesting uh, attempt to use the bomb off the grab, but uh, unfortunately getting a can't follow up. Wow, bomb beating out the back air right there. <laughs> really dangerous position for MJG sitting at the edge. You know, a back air from the Bayo will definitely take the stock. But we've seen him close gaps before, uh, and some doesn't overextend. I can easily see him uh, climb back and closing in this gap. 
get the extra damage right there with the bomb. Uh, already bringing back quite a little bit. This is exactly reminiscent of the last two games where Blaze's guy took an early lead and MJG is slowly bringing it back. Fishing for that up air. And, oh, gonna get it there, but not enough to get very tall of last zones here. Yeah, close, but no cigar. No, actually, this is the sh the, the shortest version of last zone. Interesting. Then it's surprising to me that at 137, uh, with an up air bayo off of the platform, was not able to get it. That rage, though, near max rage at near 150, going to get that stock for MJG. Blazing Sky now has to play catch up very quickly, uh, going to try to seal the stock uh, to not get any extra percent and give MJG a lead. MJG just uh, playing the hit and run game right here. There we go, 11%. Can we see another bomb pull? Yeah, absolutely, there we go. Just taking the, the react damage, trying not to get KO'd right here. Forward throw, okay. Ooh, that down air though, that quick, just immediate down air out of the hop. Uh, gonna seal it. <laughs> and would you believe that's the sour spot? <laughs> <laughs> that down air is actually really amazing, you know. As if Bayo didn't already have enough options. Nah, she needed something. <laughs> All right, heal side like gonna get punished. Uh, bomb to jump in. Nice, smash. nice string there. Uh, finishing off with the up there, but now oh, we're going up. All, All right. right, not anything off of it. 81% here on the Mayo. MJG trying to build his lead right here. Yeah, and uh, good play to MJG. He's been consistently escaping uh, the Bayo combo ladders. Uh, all right, we see that again. Yeah, but you know, doing uh, wonders right here. Hopefully, you can keep that consistent, or we may eventually see a Bayo KO off the top. As Bayos are wont to do. Yeah, I noticed the difference, uh, a big difference between Tiger Boy and MJG's Toon Link is uh, MJG is the very, fair? very bomb heavy. Uh, nice DI to the top left corner. Uh, not gonna end that yet, but. And now we got an edge guard situation. <laughs> MJG makes it back. Wow, just oh, dodging <laughs> around. You know. He's like, yeah. he's trying to catch me, roll forward, yeah. roll back, roll forward, roll back again. Hey, if it works. It ain't broke. Four glory strats here at Smash Out Hunger Top 8. <laughs> oh, wow. Ooh, okay. Oh, that was really unfortunate. That could have been a terrible Yeah, that uh, no tech end. right there could have resulted in a backer. Just kidding. Up air, going to take wow. that game. You know, Blazing Sky had that opportunity right there to take that game. Uh, <laughs> Luckily for MJ, he did not capitalize on that bomb making land on the platform. Yeah. <laughs> Crowd and, going hype over what oh they yeah. just saw as the uh, projector is about 10 seconds behind, so. <laughs> just about. And was that a bomb to up, up smash or up tilt that sealed uh, the game? That was a bomb to up air. Oh, up air. Yeah, All right. Up there I actually good. didn't see uh, the jump. Yeah, even the, the lingering hitbox of up air, so, so meaty, just, you know, Right up there. Oh, yeah. Take him off the top. Yeah, I, there's uh, hardly any move that can really contest that. So if you're above Toon Link, uh, you're in a bad spot. Unless your name is Cloud. Then yeah, <laughs> unless you have the <laughs> OP down air. All right. We're going to start some Bayo combos. Uh, and going to Smashville. You know, I agree with this. I think it's a, a well-balanced stage. I actually do think it benefits Bayonetta a little bit more as uh, if she's doing her uh, bear strings off the side, she has that platform just in case to save her or extend her compost. Fair enough. Well, Ooh, oh, the call out, uh, getting a charged F smash, and just like that, not even 40 seconds in. Yeah, early stock right here. Closing off her stock. Blazing Sky could be on uh, his winner's turning line. This is winner's side. Yeah, winner's side stock okay. right here. So Winterside stock, uh, this is really valuable here, top six. Uh, dang it, Winterside, you know, means you're one step closer uh, to that delicious grand oh, final. Sky Ooh. going ham. Gonna take him off the top, only 35% on the board. Early stock for early stock. Yeah, doing a good job of keeping it even, not letting himself fall too far behind. And, right. you know, finally landing one of those, uh, you know, ladder strings that Bayo's uh, can generally pull off. The patented uh, Bayo, I'm going to carry off the top real quick, uh, BRB. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm sure many a 4 glory player <laughs> are, <laughs> are all, all too familiar <laughs> with that. 
Oh wow, the, the bomb bouncing off the shield right there. That oh, is gonna this, be it. this is it. Unfortunately, they're getting caught up by the witch time. Good stuff, Blazing Sky, calling out the up smash. You know, Blazing Sky. Uh, you know, a lot of people use witch time as one of the large reasons for why uh, they really dislike Bayonetta. Sing like almost jawing as if that move alone carries players, but. We have not seen Blazing Sky use which time much at all. Actually, yeah, this, uh, the second stock this set I've seen him get with the Witch Time, you know, just because of charge up smash. I think he's only hit two or three, something like that. Yeah, for sure. But uh, going into game five right here, uh, gonna see a counter pick probably to a. Actually, I have no idea. I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> I mean, we've seen Town and City Smashville of uh, Dreamland. You know. Oh, are we gonna see a controller switch, right? Or a uh, control switch, maybe? Wait, a mid set, a game five controller switch. Okay. I can expect to see, you know, a very explosive game five here, but game five always a stressful situation no matter who you are. Exactly. Uh, Tournament nerves, you know, building up. But, inversely, the best thing for spectators, I love any set that goes to game five. Absolutely, uh, it just makes it that much more juicy. Oh yeah? yeah. Sure. Well, Alright. So are we going to see the switch? Really? A Diddy oh, Kong? Changes his controls for Diddy Kong. I actually didn't see what exactly he changed. Might, uh, it might have been a, a shoulder special so that he can get the B reverse peanut pop gun better. Okay, yeah. It was, uh, I, guess I could not see the feed, uh, in its entirety, because I did not see the specifics that he changed the like, controls. Uh, nevertheless, starting off this game, <laughs> a full 12 seconds in of many engages, uh, only 8%. Now starting the first string here. Alright, get some tic tac damage right here. Um, gonna see how the Diddy works out. Definitely uh, has to be mindful of the, uh, the banana, as it does play a major oh, yeah. role. See, there we go. Yeah, definitely. That is. Uh, uh, Diddy's, I think, uh, most useful tool, uh, the you know tripping leading into a lot of really strong follow-ups, whether it's a grab follow-up into aerial, or uh, just an up smash or F smash. You know, you see that time and time again. If you've watched any major tournament, uh, you know all too well what Diddy can do with that banana. Exactly. You know, I, ag I actually do agree with the switch. Um, trying to go for that consistent damage as uh, the hoo-ha, you know, just, it, it's a consistent way to build damage. In that last game, he was kind of thrown for our projectiles, you know, just getting that tic-tac damage and reacting to when bomb hits. But, you know, in this case, he can just, you know, get the up throw hoo-ha and get that consistent damage on, so. All right, still, it's uh, definitely no easy task to switch characters uh, mid-set, especially on your last game. Exactly. You know, you don't have any time on this character thus far in the set. And, you know, you're coming in totally cold. And uh, uh, definitely by that uh, same. Oh, that forward or clanking with the up smash. Making the classic Bayo mistake of not throwing out an up tilt or two. You know, to get them out of that forward air or whatever the move they were doing. Yeah, to get rid. Okay. <laughs> Making it. Ooh, trying to catch uh, in which time once again, but. Uh, I guess he was just too far away for that banana to activate it. Yeah, MJG really, really dancing with the devil, devil right now. Barely made it back on that uh, extra opportunity and escaping the witch time. Well, he's definitely not going to throw away this opportunity he's been given. Uh, playing very patient. Uh, that up there not going to take it yet. But, you know, every every little hit is just one, you know, a uh, number of percent closer uh, to Blazing Sky taking the stock. Oh, oh nice angle! Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bullet climax right there. <laughs> you know, even though like those uh, bullets themselves don't seem to pack a punch, uh, they'll definitely uh, push you to the <laughs> to the extremities. Oh, if they go. catch you, up air is going to take it off the top. Uh, Hoo-ha? No. Just oh, not catching him. You know, I know it's a, it's a 50-50 now. If you air dodge, you're, you're dead, but uh, not quite at that percent yet, especially with the lack of rage now. Ooh, punishing the jab here. Oh, catching him out of the side B. Where have I seen that before? I did a not agree with that. A Bayo catching a Diddy off of a monkey flip? Who would have known? <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Lucky, <laughs> lucky. Lucky went on the banana and then just slips on it anyways. All right, nice wait. Uh, still not going to be enough, though, to steal it. Yeah, Blazing Sky seemingly running away with this game. MJG, I know, is definitely feeling the pressure. Yeah, getting pressured on this platform. Uh, oh, oh my, dropping. Dead? Yes, Un unfortunate. unfortunate. SD not going to make it back to the stage. Uh, good stuff to Blazing Sky. Going to take it in a convincing fifth game. A yeah, very convincing fifth game. Uh, uh, unfortunate play. And there, I don't know if you heard the groans uh, from, from the, the audience. Yeah. Uh, getting to them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now now they witnessed it them. 